be with Zamunda Profit Squad coming to you with a video to help build your foundation. This will be catered to those who are beginning their journey or those who have some time in but are still struggling with their mindset. Today's lesson will be intro to trading. So the first thing I want to cover is expectations. Now, when you come into trading, you want to have realistic expectations. Most new traders come into trading via social media. They see huge gains with the expectation that it will happen for them when they first start trading. What you have to realize is that most gurus, which are fake gurus, manipulate pictures of their gains to get more subscriptions. Those traders who actually make those types of gains has become a master in their craft by studying and applying those concepts over time. Let's talk about wins and losses. In trading, you have to think in probabilities. Trading is a game of probability, meaning you will not win every trade and you will not lose every trade. You want to have a strategy that you stick to that will work more times than not. Once you've paired that with proper risk management, you can be very profitable, even with a lower win rate. You do not want to get on a high when you are consistently winning, and you also don't want to get too low when you are on a losing streak. Being too high can give you an invincible complex when you believe that you cannot lose. Then you begin to over leverage. This is one of the quickest ways to blow your account. When you are losing, you always want to accept that it's just part of the game. And you will be profitable in the long run as long as there is a plan set in place. Do not, do not, do not revenge trade because you took a loss on a singular trade or a few trades. Revenge trading will cause you also to over leverage to recoup your loss, resulting in you losing even more. So let's look at an example of you being profitable even with a lower win rate. So here we have an example. A normal trading week consists of five trading days. So let's say that you trade every day, all five trading days, and every day you're gonna risk $100, which means either you buy $100 worth of shares or you buy $100 worth of options contracts. Let's say we have a predefined stop loss of 25%. Now we also have a take profit of 55% of 50 So now what we have is a two to one risk to reward. What this means is the reward is double the risk. So the risk to reward, the reward is greater than the risk. So let's say that out of those five trades, we lose three. So with the 25% stop loss out of $100, 25% of $100 would be $25. Now, if that happened three times, that means we will be in the negative of $75. Now, let's say out of those five trades, we win two of them. Our take profit was 50%. So 50% of $100 would be $50. And since we won twice, we would have $100 in profit. $100 minus our 75 loss would give us a net profit of $25. So as you can see, even at a two out of five, which is a 40% win rate, you could still be very profitable. Here we're going to look at an example of how compounding can make you profitable with a small percentage. So here, let's say we start with the principal, an initial amount of $500, and we are going to take 30% every trade. 
we're going to take 30% profit every trade. This will represent how many trades we take over a period of time. Let's say we take 150 trades. This says out of the 30% profit that we take, we are going to reinvest 30% of the profit back into the initial principal. And this will allow us to compound. So here's an example. We started with 500. We took 30% profit, which gives us $150. 30% of 500 is 150. We reinvest 45 because 30% of 150 is 45. So then for our next trade, we will be risking $545. Now, if we were to continue this by March, in theory, we could have over a six figure portfolio. Now, keep in mind, this does not account for any losses. This is just in theory, you would have to go 100% for this to happen. But if you have proper risk management, you would be able to reach this goal in a similar fashion. So let's talk about consistency. Consistency is what you do every day. Now, what you do every day will determine what type of trader you become. You want to consistently show up. If you put in mediocre effort, then you will get mediocre results. You want to consistently show up. As mentioned before, you won't lose forever. Being consistent allows you to take advantage of the market during favorable conditions and not just pop in at times when the market doesn't present the best opportunities. Okay. You also want to have a routine. You want to have a morning prep routine. You want to look at the news such as Market Watch, Yahoo Finance, Benzinga. There's other sources out there, but these are just to name a few. You want to see what the futures markets are doing. The S&P 500, the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones. This will give you a better overall outlook on the market for that day. You want to see uh, pre-market prices in the various sectors. Sectors would be something like technology, XLK, or healthcare, XLV, whatever you're looking at, you want to know how are those sectors performing that morning. You want to look at the earnings calendar. If a big ticker such as Apple has earnings after hours the previous day, you want to see how the market digests those results in the morning. You also want to look at upgrades and downgrades. We have analyst ratings who put price targets on certain tickers saying, hey, I think that this ticker will be worth this in the near future. Um, I believe that it's going to go up to this price target or I believe it's going to go down to this price target. Sometimes those analyst ratings can hold weight on what happens with a ticker that you may be looking at. So you want to know, is the ticker that I charted the night before, did it have an upgrade or downgrade? You also want to chart nightly. Get into the habit of charting every single night, every single weekend. Even if you are in trading, you still need to chart. Dedicate time to study. Journal, review your trades. You, know, you won't know what went right or wrong if you do not journal your trades. One of our admins, Jade, sells a dope trading journal on Amazon and I will attach the link to this video so you guys can purchase one. The journal is very helpful and I actually own one myself. <clears throat> um, once again, I will put the link in the video so you can go purchase one for yourself. So another thing that is very important is having a set of rules in place. <clears throat> having rules set in place is essential to your trading journey. Establishing rules gives you boundaries where you can and cannot go. Having clear and precise rules written down will serve as guidelines to keep you in check 
when your emotions try to take over. <clears throat> you cannot be in the market just doing whatever or you are sure to fail. Some rules include not trading in the first 30 minutes, not trading on Mondays. Some people don't like to trade on Mondays because typically at the beginning of the week, there is some indecision on the direction of the market for the week. So they like to have the week play out a little bit more so they can follow the trend of the week. Having a 25% stop loss, that could be one of your rules. If that is one of your rules, you want to make sure that that is respected. Also, not trading without a stop loss and a target in mind. Taking profit at profit tar targets. You want to make sure before you get in the trade, you know at what point this trade is invalidated and you need to get out. And you also want to know where should you take your money to cash out. <clears throat> With that being said, guys, I hope that this was helpful. Um, this was mostly catered to new traders, but you may find yourself, even after trading a while, having to come back to this video and refresh yourself. Your trading journey, everything is not going to go perfect. But if you stick to these guidelines, you could be very, very successful. If you break rules or you fall out of routine or you lack discipline, don't beat yourself down too much. Come back to this video, rewatch it, refocus, and then go attack it again. And this time, make sure you learn from your previous mistakes. Mistakes is the best teacher. The more mistakes you make, the more lessons you will learn. But you have to make sure that you actually learn from those mistakes and do not repeat them again. Plan your trade and trade your plan. With that being said, thank you guys for tapping in. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Zamunda Profit Squad. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss any videos. And good luck trading, guys. See you guys later.